Senator Pat Toomey is the ranking Republican of the Senate Banking Committee. Senator, it's great to have you here. I uh, want to understand why, why you're pursuing this boycott and why not just vote no, if in fact that's your view. <clears throat> yeah, Andrew, so let me explain. First of all, um, the reason that the, the, the primary reason that I oppose Sarah Bloom Raskin serving as the vice chair for supervision at the Fed is because of her often stated, clearly articulated desire to have the Fed allocate capital away from carbon intensive industry. I think that's a terrible idea to take the Fed down the path of becoming the arbiter of who gets access to capital and who doesn't. It's really unbelievable that somebody, uh, especially someone as knowledgeable as she is, would be so forcefully advocating this for so long. That's not the reason that Republicans denied a quorum yesterday so that the vote couldn't proceed. The reason for the latter, the reason not to have the vote, is because we can't get answers to important questions. Um, she frankly did a terrible job responding to the written questions that we submitted. And we've got a lot of questions about her role and the Fed's role, frankly, in Reserve Trust, a fintech company based in Colorado, eventually obtaining a Fed master account, a very, very coveted. Actually, we think it's the only case of any fintech that has a Fed master account is Reserve Trust. And the circumstances are very peculiar. And she was involved. And we want answers. We want to understand what happened. Do you think that there is an answer, though, that would be satisfying? Or do you think it's disqualifying unto itself? And, and let me just say straight up, I don't like the way it looks. I don't think anybody should like the way it looks. But I don't like a lot of the conflicts and revolving door situations that happen in Washington. <clears throat> yeah, it's not only revolving door, uh, Andrew. Um, look, look at the, the sequence of events. Look at what happened, right? Reserve Trust applied for a master account at the Fed and it got turned down. Raskin on the board then calls the president of the Kansas City Fed, where my understanding is the decision occurs. And subsequently, the Fed does a 180 degree reversal, grants them the Fed account that had been denied prior. Later, Raskin leaves the board, cashes out a million and a half bucks. OK, fine. That's not clear that there's anything, Ill certainly not anything illegal about that. But how and why did the Fed do a 180 degree reversal. As I said, there are maybe hundreds of fintechs out there that would love to get a master account. They can't get one. They'd like to know why and how it is that this one in Colorado could. Right. That when we ask Sen these questions, we get no answers. But, but Senator, Senator, her advocates would say, you should go searching for those answers from the Federal Reserve. You don't need to, I mean, that, those well, answers okay. aren't her answers. You know, those yeah. are, her answers aren't her answers hey. to give. Okay, so first of all, that's not true. They are completely interlinked, right? She was on the board. She was clearly intervening. We know, even though she claimed she had no recollection of it, the president of the Kansas City Fed told me directly that she did call. So they're completely linked. Secondly, you know, we've got to, we, we've got to use what tools we have to get this information. Uh, unfortunately, as it turns out, the regional Fed banks are not subject to FOIA. They think they can just go about their merry way doing whatever they want without responding to Congress sometimes. And so here we are in this situation where they've taken this very strange sequence. By the way, there's another aspect of this which CNBC broke the story just last night. In justifying this, the Kansas City Fed said, oh, no problem here. The reason we reversed our decision is because the Colorado Banking Commission, they changed their interpretation of what constitutes a depository institution. Well, except that, as you reported last night, the Colorado Banking Commission vehemently denies they did any such thing. They said that's a complete mischaracterization. So all I'm saying is the taxpayers, American citizens, Congress has a right to know what actually happened here. And that's what we want to find out. And but, but let me just ask, do you want to find out because you want to be able to vote no or yes on this decision or you want to find out because you want to find out? I want to find out because we need to know. And uh, there's right. like millions of Americans have a right to know. Did the Fed operate appropriately? Did they follow normal channels? Or was there something else going on here? It's very peculiar circumstances. And we just found out that the explanation the Kansas City Fed gave is at least in one very important part 
apparently completely inaccurate. So, uh, no, this isn't going to cause me to be a supporter of Sarah Raskin because I know that she wants to use the Fed to allocate capital, and that's a terrible idea. That doesn't change the fact that we have a right to know. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.